appreciate being able to talk to you today. I appreciate being able to talk last year at UDC 2019. And I'd like to tell you some of the things that have happened in the last year. Uh, Hedera has had quite a bit happen in the last year. I'll tell you some of that, some of what's going on now and where we're headed in the future. So if you're interested, here's what's, what's going on. Uh, last year, we talked about the hash graph algorithm. This is the way that our ledger, the Hedera public ledger comes to a consensus. It's how all of the computers come to agree on the order to put the transactions in. And it's done with gossip about gossip with virtual voting. That's what the consensus algorithm is for hash graph. Hash graph is gossip where you tell two other computers and they tell two computers and it explodes exponentially fast. Everyone learns exponentially fast. And we aren't just gossiping the transactions, we are gossiping the information about how we were gossiping. We're gossiping who we talk to and when. And so we are gossiping about gossip. And by doing that, it doesn't cost very much. Each message just needs two hashes added to it. Not very much space at all, not very much bandwidth. But if we do that, then we have gossiped about gossip. Every computer knows exactly how we communicated and we can then do voting algorithms with no votes. We can do virtual voting because we know so much information. And because of that, hash graph is extremely efficient. It is running at uh, 10,000 transactions per second is what we have slowed it down to right now. And it will be faster in the future. It has a few seconds latency to absolute finality, just a few seconds. And it um, has extreme fairness and resilience. There is never a leader, even for a moment. And so it's very safe and resilient from attacks. So this is the hash graph algorithm. Compared to a blockchain, which is just a chain of blocks, this has lots of chains. Uh, it's, a, it's an entire graph. And that means that we don't have to throw things away and that it is extremely fast. Uh, every computer is constantly adding to it. They don't take turns. They all do it at the same time. What this means is that we have a very powerful consensus algorithm. So our network is very fast. We use that algorithm to build the Hedera public ledger. So this is our DLT, our blockchain. Our DLT is Hedera public ledger. And so it is the ledger, that's the circle at the bottom. These are the computers that are all communicating with each other and reaching consensus. And then running on top of those, we have the services that we run. And so we have smart contracts, we have files, we have the consensus service and we have the new token service. And so these allow um, other applications on this network. Uh, the consensus service allows you to do things very fast at the native speed. On top of that, many users have built dApps, distributed applications, and then lots of users, both individuals and enterprises and governments and devices can use the system. In addition to all of that, we have the Hedera Governing Council. This council are major companies around the world that together run Hedera. And we have also outside of the network, mirror nodes, which are nodes that watch what we're doing and, and give the information to the world. So this is the Hedera public ledger. What are we doing? We have many, many users uh, we launched with 35 applications that have been running for the last year, but we now have many more layered on top of that. We have over 8,000 developers and we are running more than a million transactions a day. This is actual usage of the system. Uh, right now, around the world, we have actual users doing a million transactions a day, more than a million. Uh, actually, it's over the last nine months, I think it has averaged one and a half million, 1.5 million. Uh, we're just doing a huge number of transactions every day. And these are real transactions from real users, not just test transactions. This is real usage of the system. Uh, that's more than Ethereum. Huge number of transactions each day. So what have we been doing for the last year? 
When I talked to you last year, we were not yet open for the world. We had some people testing it, but we were not yet open access. We had a small council. And now we have the 15 companies that you see. Um, LG Electronics is one of our council members. IBM, Google. We have all of these uh, large companies around the world from different continents, from different countries, under different governments. They are big Fortune 500 companies, gigantic companies in different industries. And they don't just advise us. They actually own Hedera, control Hedera, and make the decisions about what we do. And this has built up tremendously since when I talked to you last year. And so what are the major events? Well, as I was saying, last year, we hadn't even started yet allowing the whole world to use it. Now we have. We did open access uh, over a year ago. And the whole world is using the system, has been using it for a year. We had a huge hackathon. I think over 600 people were in our hackathon. Gave out lots of awards. Companies came in and gave prizes. It was a lot of fun. And it was distributed all over the world. We had people doing it. We released the source code, open source and open review. So some of the layers are open source, some are open review. You can see the code. We have a bug bounty program where we will pay people. If you find bugs, we'll pay you. You can be anonymous or we can tell people that you found the bug. Either way, um, we have a bug bounty program for it. And we have a huge ecosystem that has grown up over the last year. We have many wallets, we have exchanges, we have custody services. Uh, I think we have something like 40 exchanges. We have just lots of people that are uh, supporting the, the ecosystem for Hedera uh, Hashgraph. Uh, the cryptocurrency is the HBAR and it's sold on many exchanges around the world. We have lots of software that we've released like SDKs and other tools that we've released to people, including plugins for private ledgers. So if you build a private ledger with Hyperledger Fabric or with R3 Corda or with Consensus Quorum, you can take this private ledger of the computers you have set up and at the bottom layer, you can put in a plugin that makes all the transactions go through Hedera. And so you have Hedera putting them in order and putting can consensus timestamps on them. And by Hedera doing that, you have Hedera giving you its trust. The trust is inherited from Hedera. So you can have the speed and privacy of a private network Privacy, if you encrypt your messages, you have the speed and privacy of a private network, and you have the trust of a public network, Hedera, and we're able to do that. We can only do it because it is fast, but Hedera is fast enough to do that. When you can do 10,000 transactions per second, it will become even more. You can afford to do this sort of thing. And so we have this hybrid kind of a system with these private ledger plugins. And so we have these services, as I said, smart contracts, files, consensus, and, file, and tokens. But these are new. Last time I talked to you, we only had the first two of those. The, earlier this year, we opened up a consensus service. It lets you run side networks that, are, that I was just talking about that use Hedera for their consensus. There has been enormous reaction to that. Lots of people are using this because this has been very, very popular. And that we rolled out early this year. Huge a number of users for that. But now we have a new service. We've rolled it out to our preview network. It will soon go to our stable test net and then to our main net. And this is tokens. And so now you can do a token, like an ERC20 token, but it runs at the native layer. And so it's this, at the speed of native layer, but uh, the flexibility of something like an ERC20. And so we have a token service as well. So we've rolled out new services over the last year. And then as I keep saying, we have all these users. We had a few users last year when we, when we had open access and they've been with us for a year, but now we have an enormous ecosystem of users in many different fields. For example, SAFE is in the healthcare system. Healthcare is on everyone's mind right now, very important. And it's being used, um, they have a, a platform called SAFE that they're putting on us, but that platform is used by 150,000 users. And the, um, it allows you to have immutable authentication and authenticity of things that you're doing. 
we have in retail the coupon bureau the coupon bureau recording coupons this is an industry with lots of fraud this stops the fraud this stops it because every store can be recording the coupons as they receive them and be sure that this coupon wasn't used before or wasn't used at a different store huge application and that's in retail we have armada chain dealing with supply chain and this is very important uh, supply chain i think is one of the big areas where dlts will just completely change the world change the economy because it allows multiple parties to be interacting with each other but tracking each other every step of the way in a way that you cannot Im is immutable you can't change it later and you have audit trails and then speaking of audit we have ad stacks which is doing audits they're doing this for the advertising industry another industry with lots of fraud ad stacks is stopping the fraud by using hedera to um, actually they're using our consensus service and all of their uh, um, events of someone looking at an advertisement on a website or clicking on it all those events go into it immutable ledger immutable record in real time and what's important isn't just that it's immutable it's that everyone sees the same record and so an advertiser can't claim that they were shown on the website uh, the two different advertisements when they were really just showing one because you can track who they claim to be showing at any given moment and so it brings accountability to the advertising industry. So those are four industries. We have lots of different industries using us right now. And so Hedera right now is poised to, to really do a lot in these industries. Now you'll notice these things had in common that they needed absolute trust. We have that from our council. We have that from our algorithm. We have that um, in our geographic spread and political spread and spread around the world, spread by industry. We also, had to have speed to do these things. These are all applications that need many transactions every second. And we have that speed, both the speed of transactions per second and the finality, only a few seconds until finality. And then you know for sure that it's happened and it will never be rolled back. So we have the speed that you need for those things and the resilience and the fairness. These are the things that we have. And what we are seeing is more council members coming in. We are having further big names that you know will be joining the council. And we have a pipeline of new companies coming in to join the council. We have big enterprises working on the ledger. They're building POCs. We have a pipeline of companies that are building on us or about to build on us, about to, to release it in addition to the ones that are currently on us. And then we have many small startups that uh, we give grants and we have grant programs and we have people uh, building on top of us. There's a whole ecosystem of things going on right now. So the future I think is going to be very exciting. Over the next year, I mean, this is, this is what happened in the last year. Imagine what will happen over the next year. I just am very excited to see what applications we built, what council members will come in, how it will be used. We might even have further uh, services that we add at the native layer all sorts of things that we will be adding. Uh, and so that is the future of Hedera and the future of the world. I haven't even talked about the whole blockchain community, the whole DLT community, I think is getting traction. And I am very excited about where it is going. And we plan to be a big part of that, leading that. And so what I am seeing is the world is embracing DLTs now. I don't think it's a fringe anymore. I think this is something the world sees the importance of. And so I invite you, please join with us and let's build the future together. Thank you. Yes, so the council members are partial owners of Hedera. So we have 15 council members, each of them owns 1 15th of Hedera. And when Hedera makes decisions, all of our decisions, what are we going to put into our code? What is our pricing going to be? Uh, what are our strategic approaches to talking to the market? All those decisions are made by the council, they vote. And every council member has an equal weight in that vote. And they are diverse, not only in by industry and 
um, geography. They are even diverse in time. There are term limits. And so a council member won't stay more than six years. They have a three-year term. And then when that's over, they can be reelected for a second three-year term and then they must leave. And so we'll have them constantly having turnover. But during the six years they're there, they own one share of Hedera and they control what it does. And this is very important so that you can trust, not just trust the computers running the network, but trust the guidance of where it goes and what features are implemented and what the pricing is and what the strategy is. That's what it's for. Yep. Hmm. I'm excited about a lot of things. Um, I told you we were doing tokenization. We actually have one of our council members that just announced that they are themselves doing tokenization. Of course, they're using us, but they're doing the legal side of it, uh, which is immensely complicated. Uh, DLA Piper is doing that. And what I am seeing in the industry as a whole right now is that tokenization is a big deal. Taking things of value and putting them into, uh, into the chain, into the ledger, uh, digitizing them. I think that the reason the world is starting to become interested in our industry is that we are finally getting to the point where we can take pieces of the world and put it into our ledgers and then work from there. So I think the most thing I'm excited about right now is that, is the ability to be able to tokenize uh, assets and deal with them in the ledger.